We're live. What up? Let's get weird. It's your boy Tommy G here with the Monday edition of the Steak Hash and Show. I am joined by the best producer in the world, wearing a Jets shirt, I do notice. Evan Hand, how you feeling after a big Jets? I'm an easy win. Easy win. Yeah, yeah, super easy. I mean, came back with a minute and 47 left in the fourth quarter. Definitely expected oh. that to happen. Nothing, bro. That was an easy win. We're going to talk about that a little bit in a minute. Uh, Joey Rackets, feeling a little under the weather, fighting through it. Me and you have, have been wearing the same type of shirt for four shows in a row. I've changed for the other three. This one, I'm just rocking it. I kind of like us with the white hoodies. Yeah, fuck it, dude. We're, we got the same style. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, listen. 80 outside. It's but it's not, not 80. inside. It's not 80 here. It's, <laughs> it's 80 fucking here. cold, man. I mean, it's always cold in Buffalo. We're always hot in New Jersey. What the fuck is going on? No, 65 man. degrees, I think, outside right now. We're up in fucking Canada. What do you mean? I thought Buffalo got like four feet of snow. Yeah. No, no not in September. In the summer, to, to Bill, if you ever left Bloomfield, New Jersey, you would know that there's weather in other places, and it's just like here. What weather are you experiencing five minutes from my house? I'm nothing, but I understand that in Buffalo, they still have nice summers, and in Denver, they still have nice summers. So, but Bill seems to think, because he never leaves fucking North Jersey. Oh, you've been to Buffalo? Yes, I have. I actually won an award for Cutco up in that area. I mean, not Buffalo. Fuck itself, but that fucking the greater Cutco. Buffalo region. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. Like, Western New York. New York. I call it Canada, <laughs> New York. Know Buffalo. I've been to Canada, New York before. I've been uh, to Canada. I've been to well, that three Canadian. Canada is basically Buffalo with less, with more laws and hotter chicks. That's basically what Canada is. I got to let my dog out real quick. Right back. All right. At least we solved the age old mystery of who let the dogs out. It was Joey Rackets the whole time. Uh, and he's got Blues Clues, the dog in the background. But, Bill, we're all wearing white. Is it for the queen? For the queen. For the queen. We're all wearing white for the fucking... I wish you wear black for the queen. Evil satanic monster that was the queen of England. Uh, sorry to see you go. Uh, so we got a lot to cover on the show today, all right? We got two Monday night football games. We have... We're not going to do a ton of MLB. I mean, we might sprinkle in just our favorite few plays for today. But it's basically going to be full NFL show, full game day show. We're going to recap every game that took place this week real quick. Quick hitters, what we thought, what we took away. Want you guys to be interactive in the chat. Evan will keep his eye on questions in the chat because I don't look at the chat. Uh, we're going to go over the Monday night football game, Titans, Bills. We're going to break that down, free bets, prop sides. And we're going to break down the Eagles, Vikings, free bets, prop sides. Uh, let's get it started right out the gate. Do we have any headlines? Yeah, uh, only the one. I mean... We have two, actually. Trey Lance uh, just snapped his leg in half. Right. So we'll get to that. We'll do that when the Niners game. We'll go into the the Jimmy G. What else we got? Yeah. I mean, to back off, back up that, uh, Jimmy G is going to earn 250000 for every game where he plays more than 25% of the snaps and then another 100000 if he wins the game. So he's going to get – I mean, if he plays the rest of the 15 games that are left, he can get up to $4 million more than he's already getting. So let's uh, let's start with this game then since we got two things there. So the Niners Seattle game, um, I called him Jimmy Jesus. You guys know I'm Tommy Jesus. Uh, Jimmy G is us. Uh, this dude keeps rising from the dead. They can't get rid of him. He's like a black cat. It's like me. They can't get rid of me. They try. They can't. Jimmy G keeps popping back up, Bill. Unfortunately, uh, our, my dumbass, I should say, had the Trey Lance rushing prop along with fucking half the world. He had like 13 yards in a series, and then he snaps his leg. So at least Trey Lance could have the respect. I had it for the season. Yeah, at least yeah, at least hit your over before you get hurt. I mean, first future done. But uh, I think it's an upgrade for San Fran. Uh, Trey Lance. It, it, listen, we could do the whole ESPN. So sorry. Hope he comes back better than ever. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't care. I mean, listen. I hope he's fine and whatever. But I'm not going to think about it for a second beyond today. So do the best you can. All I care about is Jimmy G right now. Uh, the team's better. They're probably a playoff team now. Um, Two hundred fifty thousand dollars a game. Plus a hundred thousand dollars per win, Bill. I think that should be every quarterback in the NFL's type contract. You get extra money for playing and extra money for wins. I mean, at least I, part of it. I mean, if that's what you could sign. Yeah, I mean, at least part. Well, you can't because of the fucking unions, but they need to overhaul everything and make that a thing. But do you think the Niners are better with Jimmy G now than they were with Trey Lance? I mean, we can't. There's really we don't have a big enough sample size to know. All right, great, great analysis, Bill. Uh, Joey Rackets, do you think? Yeah, I, think, I, think the, I think the opinion. 
I I think think the I did, and there's not a big enough sample size for me to form an opinion. Are you more likely to bet on them now than you were no, with Trey No, absolutely not. No, I'm not. No. Yeah, but meanwhile, Rackets yesterday in the chat, he said, Jesus. if I knew Joey Jimmy G was going to be then I wouldn't have bet I that game. I wouldn't have been against have Seattle. Seen. I might have stayed off that game. It doesn't really – I didn't have well, – That to, means you have to have an opinion it, on the two quarterbacks. I, I just said I don't have enough of an opinion on Lance to, on, to say what he is and why I needed a one or two more games, and then I could have formed a good opinion on it. But right now, we just don't know. After one game, you're going to figure out an opinion on based on someone on one game? I'm not even judging it off one game. I'm judging it off preseason. I'm judging it off college. I mean, he missed almost the whole. Well, college, year. he was playing against you and me. And right, that. and and he and he didn't play much. He missed a whole year because of COVID. He's only played like one season in college, so it was going to be struggles with them this year. I think they're better off rackets with Jimmy G. Maybe not for the long term, but definitely for this year. No, I 100 percent agree. I think they're back to being a playoff team. They're they should be back in contention in the NFC now. Yeah, I, I agree. We'll see how. And actually, oh. FanDuel, uh, FanDuel voided those. Uh, they gave money back for those food future bets and props yesterday. For Trey they, Lance? They put, yeah, for Trey Lance. They put it out on Twitter, I think, like two hours ago. I mean, they should do that. I mean, we should get money back on our rushing prop for the game. I, I keep saying. But they're, they're, they're giving you your money back? Yeah, bad beat prop. Bad wow. beats. I, 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 I think I'm at FanDuel, I, but I have a ticket, though. I bought it at the window. Yeah, um, oh, FanDuel it. tweeted it out like an hour or two ago, so you might want to check that. I mean, that's that's it's listen, I've been saying this forever. The first site to give bad beep insurance or injury insurance on props will get all of my money every single year, along with millions of other people. You get a rushing prop on a player and he gets hurt. Fine. He gets hurt in the first quarter. You need to get your money back like they need to. They do this all the time. They give money back on bad beats. Those are the worst beats when you have fucking props that go down in the first quarter. They need to install that. So whichever site does that, I have your back. Uh, any other headlines here before we jump to the rest of the game, Sherry? Let's just get to it. Well, what right. about what about um, the WNBA championship yesterday? Did you even know what was happening? Actually, that's a good point. All right, first game, Miami-Baltimore. <laughs> uh, Miami goes to 2-0. Uh, and oh. Besides that, hold on, I'm not done. Uh -huh. What about uh, the bet that we have, Aaron Judge? Aaron Judge, we should talk about that. I mean, we could get that in the baseball segment, but let's do it real quick now. Bill. Biggest bet we have. I mean, we have double max bets on it. You went to the bank and fucking took out extra money to bet it. Um, Aaron Judge over 61 and a half home runs was the biggest joke line I've ever seen. Banks two out yesterday. Is at 59 now? He's going to cruise through 61 and a half. My projection when we put the bet out, Bill, was 67. I thought he was going to hit. And they gave us 61 and a half at even money. It was plus money. Uh, one of my buddies actually got it at like plus 160 or plus 150. And he put like 10 grand on it. Very sharp play there. But uh, we got it at even money. He's going to fucking breeze through it. Fucking go judge. Yeah, he's going to kill it. He's going to yeah, go past that number. It. And then some. Um, I just don't understand how they're not walking him. <laughs> All right, so listen, I'm telling you, there's a mandate from the league. There's a mandate from the league that they need him to break this record. They need the publicity. They need the hype. They got a lot of bad shit. Sticky stuff. Trevor Bauer. There's 400 things going on. Uh, fucking Tatis steroids. They need this PR. And I do not doubt that there was a message to the league saying, do not walk. You think he out. hits it at Yankee Stadium or yes. what? Yes, he's, he's the new Jeter. It'll be the storybook at Yankee Stadium, probably to win a game in the bottom of the ninth or something. Uh, that's the way Judge is going to do it. He's going to take over Jeter. Well, we should go and get tickets and sit in right field. I mean, Imagine we, I caught the ball. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Bill. I'd give it back to him. You'd fucking hold it hostage. I'd be like, Tommy, look, it's coming towards us. I'd be like, what? what? <laughs> look at the girl titties over there. No, yeah, no, no. You're back in my hip. We'd be like, all right. And then I fucking push you out of the way, and I fucking make a nice catch, one-handed catch. Oh, I'll fucking pulverize you. Miami, Baltimore. Uh, has anyone said this, or did I make this up? Because I haven't seen it anywhere. But Miami moves to Tua and O. Mm. Is that just me? Just you. Hey, how is it possible? I watched five shows this morning. I never saw anyone say it. The same reason that no shows are talking about the second place home run hitter being 25 behind Judge. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know Judge's head grew five inches in size as he's doing all <laughs> Just ignore all that shit. Yeah. Fuck it. But, uh, but so I put a poll on Twitter, Bill. Um, I said, let me just read the stats here so I can get it correctly. So Tua Tunga Bailoa, who fucking... Scott Hansen is the biggest piece of shit asshole. If you're watching this, I pray someone sends this to you. You're garbage. Get off TV. Go do a Nickelodeon Red Zone channel. You're the most annoying person in the world. 
He said Tonga Vailoa a hundred times just to show off that he could pronounce his last name. He said it six times in the first 10 minutes of Red Zone. You could just call him Tua. It's okay. Uh, Tua in the first three quarters, 202 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, 35-14 Ravens rackets. What were we thinking at that point? Uh, I was hoping that they could just score to get my teaser in there yeah. to yeah, cover right. the eight and a half for my teaser. They were down. I, mean, I didn't think that they were going to cover that. Bill, what did we think at that point? Of what? Of when they were going to lose? When they were down by a lot. 14, 202 I mean, yards. They were yeah. done. Everyone thought they were done. I Fourth turned the quarter. Jets game off too. I needed I, I, a touch. Games. I needed a touchdown from Hill. And then uh, the cash yeah. would be parlay and he, he came across. Um, but that, that was insane. I mean, two just came out of nowhere. How does, the more insane thing is how does a defense just collapse like that? Dude, Baltimore's got a problem, dude. They got a serious problem. But the fourth quarter for Tua, keep in mind, 202 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Shit game, looked like garbage, getting blown out by 21 at home. I think they were at home, right? Or were they in Baltimore? Uh, I was in Baltimore, I think. I think, all right, in Baltimore. And then the fourth quarter, 28-3 to three, Miami, 266 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Which Tua is the real Tua, I asked. 79% of people on Twitter think the shitty Tua is the real Tua. I agree with them. Bill Rupp, you think Tua is fucking the GOAT. He's not the GOAT, he's but he's, he's serviceable. He is a good starting quarterback in the NFL. I mean, he's going to give you games where he shits the bed, and then he's going to give you games where he looks like he's at Alabama, throwing a Jerry Judy and fucking everyone else. So, I mean, this is what he's going to look like. This is what's going to be. Hopefully, you get more of those yesterday, this fourth quarter to it, than you do the first two. And by the way, he just switched the MLB. Move MLB all the way to the back if you. So, can. yeah, I, I listen. I like Tua. I've always liked him. Um, it doesn't seem like the Dolphins are 100 percent behind him. He's always looking for somebody. And there's always rumors, but uh, I think he's good enough. I think they make the playoffs. Um, so we'll see. All right, uh, Rackets, which two? I think Mike McDaniel's legit, man. I was kind of questioning him uh, coming into the season, but he's got the guys, but he's got them playing behind him. So They got weapons. They do have they weapons. weapons. They have a team. They have a defense. They got a good – they did it last year. But two is – listen, we were we were all saying, don't fucking lie, all of us on the voice chat, we were live for 13 hours straight yesterday during the games, and we'll be alive for six hours straight during the games today on our voice chat, unlike any other company does because we're just way better than them. Um we were all saying, imagine they had a Fitzpatrick. Imagine they had, like, anyone decent. And then all of a sudden, he really just threw two bombs, right? Like, he threw one bomb for 70-something yards that got him a little closer. And they threw another bomb after that. And then he had a good performance. But it goes back to what I was saying. Guys, run the hurry up. Stop huddling. We saw it with Tua. The second they were in a no huddle, go up and down the field, they were dominating. Kyler Murray, same thing. Joe Flacco, same thing. All these quarterbacks and people will say, oh, it's because it was a prevent. It's because it was a prevent. No, it isn't. Because when they do it at the end of the fucking half and when they do it randomly in game, it works. Stop huddling, NFL. If your quarterbacks suck, go faster. Don't go slower. Go faster if your QBs suck. And let's not act like he didn't underthrow that bomb to Tyreek. Like, Tyreek just had the fucking both Ravens beat by 13 yards to where he could just fucking slow up and catch the ball and then take off again. He didn't even hit him in stride. I mean, so, the Ravens' defense is a disaster right now. It's a disaster. Bro, there, wasn't, there wasn't anybody within 10, 15 yards of him. It's a disaster, dude. You got to remember last week, fucking Joe Flacco threw fucking 300 on him, right? I mean, granted, they lost, but – that defense is fucking bad, man. It's a bad defense. They get fucking Mac Jones this week coming up. So, I mean, they're going to basically get two of Flacco and Mac Jones, and they might give up fucking 900 yards of passing in those three games. What's going to happen when they play Mahomes and uh, fucking Herbert and guys like that, Josh Allen? Um, I don't I, think so for real. It looked, I mean, for real or not, I mean, you're going to have, I, Tyreek Hill is probably going to end up with like the best statistical season. Uh, he's sad, and that's crazy, right? Coming yeah. from Alms. I mean, so far, he had 11 receptions yesterday for 190 and two. And uh, the game before, eight for 94. You know, respectable <laughs> fucking game. Yeah. So uh, he, he might have end up having the best statistical season ever for his yeah. career, which is crazy. I always um, said it, man. It's volume, right? It's just volume. Like, just he's going to get peppered like crazy over there. And he's just he's, – he's, he's doing great. He's doing better than I thought he would. I didn't think he'd be that good this year, honestly. Um, but, you know, good for them. 
Uh, next game on the board, Bucks Saints, most rigged game in history. Uh, well, how about oh, before you end that? How about the end of the the Dolphins game, um, where the whole uh, DFS slate just changed? Oh my God! Everybody's yeah. winning, and then within a five minute span, a whole. Harry Hill got 150 yards and two touchdowns in the last fucking uh, waddle. Like <laughs> they went great, so dude. If crazy. you played it, DFS yesterday. And you had the Tua stack. Go fucking to church today. Sacrifice a chicken tomorrow. Like, go go give a gift to the gods. Because holy shit, what happened in DFS yesterday? With yeah, that. I mean, it's crazy. You're Wait, sitting there for hours thinking you're in first, and then and, next and thing bang, 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 bang. Yeah. On a game that you weren't even looking at. Like, no. <laughs> you thought it was, it was over. A blow. You're like, ah, it's a blowout. It's over. Wondering if Lamar is going to grab another 20 rushing yards at that point. Uh, Bucks Saints, most fixed game I've ever seen in the entire history of the NFL. Um, I, I even see people, uh, Stucky, who's actually, he's, he's pretty good. I think he's with action, uh, really good, respected, uh, you know, handicapper and analyst out there. I, you don't see like people like this, you know, really comment on refereeing. It got that bad. Uh, his tweet and I'll just give his tweet out. It was Saints Bucks rewatch recap. I will be buying out of any week three position. If Sean Hockley gets the assignment. And when you're starting to see guys who don't really talk about games being fixed, tweet openly about that it was brutal the bucks were dead they couldn't do anything and then there was multiple mistakes one they cheated to keep the ball in the bucks hands three different times on one drive mark ingram fumbles at the 10 like a fucking idiot would have put him up 10-3 game basically would have been over at that point then fucking brady knows nothing's going on and he's brilliant starts a fight with Lattimore, causes a fucking fracas and then mike evans and Lattimore both get booted which hurt new orleans more these stupid fucking announcers were like, this is going to hurt Tampa more. No, it's not. Mike Evans can't do shit against Lattimore. You're taking out a corner. You're taking out Mike Evans, which was doing nothing for the Bucks, And you're putting a backup corner in who ended up getting torched for the touchdown. So just a disaster. O- Orlovsky, Bill, before I go to you, said something on ESPN this morning that was probably the best comment. He said the reason that game fell apart is because Jameis got bored of playing boring football. That was his line. And it's so true. Jameis just got bored of game managing and blew the fucking game up. You got to respond after I stop talking on a rant. I, I mean, I don't. You got to fucking just say a word. You can't just leave dead air after I talk for two minutes straight. I don't even care if you're listening. Just when I stop, start. Well, I'm act I'm, like you've been here before. Gave a question, so I'm thinking about where I'm going to go with the question. But just you say asked. you're thinking about so, it then. I'm always like. 0.5 seconds. I couldn't no, get it it's it's my mouth. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, <laughs> I don't agree with that being bored. You're fucking paid to do your fucking job. So if you're bored, don't don't fucking play. You know what I mean to do about that? You know? So that's stupid. Mean? And uh, I didn't watch hardly any of that game because I had a cable issue that I fucking fixed myself. Let's fucking Don't make this man rough. We yeah. don't depot. Followed every fucking line in this house and found the fucking weak link. So let's fucking go with that. No Rupp fixes it. It's time for the four o'clock games. Live on the Discord. Yeah. Uh, listen, both of these teams are eh. Tampa Bay, eh. And I wrote Mike Evans a fucking tweet that he owes me two hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. I had him in a touchdown fucking parlay, and it's the only one that didn't fucking hit because he wants to act and he like I would have caught it. He wants to act like a little fucking baby and get thrown out of the fucking game. You're a fucking grown man playing a sport. You fucking idiot. I will defend said, him, though. Shut up right. and dribble and catch my touchdown so I make money. Now you owe me 250 bucks. I right. will defend him, though, that he came like from the sideline and just fucking destroyed Lattimore. <laughs> that was fucking awesome, he dude. He Lattimore so much. Bro, Lattimore starts talking shit to Brady, and then you just see Evans come fucking flying. Dude, that was great. I don't care if he got tossed out of the game. It was great. I want my receiver doing that for me. It was great theater. Well, I want my $250. Yeah, the best thing was the best thing was his comment. What am I supposed to do? It's Tom Brady. He's yelling at the ref. He's like, "It's Tom fucking Brady." But dude, here's what I'll tell you, dude. I think Brady did that on purpose. I think he saw that they were flat, saw that they were dead, saw the way the game was going, and said, "Let's fucking ratchet sit up this shit up and rackets." I called the exact way that they were going to lose. Do you remember that at halftime? The game was three nothing. We were winning. Saints. We. I bet them. And I go. Here's how this game ends if we don't score. Tom Brady's going to throw a blood sacrifice touchdown to Perryman from the 50-yard line and win the game. 
and he threw a 40-yard blood sacrifice touchdown to Perryman to win the game an hour and 15 minutes later. Yep. Dude sacrifices chickens to the gods and probably children. Um, Colts, Jags, let's get to Joey Rackets here. I'm, I'm starting to feel bad, Bill. I mean, Go I, ahead, I dude. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm starting to feel bad. Uh, don't feel bad. I had that team uh, bet on him again, and I think I had him in a teaser. Last week, I had them in a parlay with just to win. This year, I te- this week, I teased up their points. And now I am completely done and I'm stupid and I keep thinking back, what am I doing? I fucking had Matt Ryan on my team for like 12 years. I know this fucking guy. He's fucking done. He can't score in the red zone. He's fucking washed. He gets sacked all the time. Uh, I don't know. They didn't run the ball enough. I don't know what was going on there, but that team stinks. They lost to two of the worst teams. I, uh, I don't know. Rackets. I don't know. They Listen, do- Rackets is our, I mean, preface said Rackets are resident Colts fan. Uh, loves the Colts. He was telling me all offseason how fine the Colts are going to be and how great Matt Ryan was going to do and how Carson Wentz was the problem. Meanwhile, Carson Wentz is throwing for like 800 yards a game over there. Now that he's out of the- I mean, they're lucky they got out of that first fucking game. Oh, they five. shouldn't have got out of the first game. Yeah. I am screaming at Rack. Your Colts are dead. Bury them. It's over. We need funeral music. It's done. The under 10 and a half that we put in before the year, lock that up, cash that ticket. You could probably cash out for 99.9%. And I wouldn't do it because it's that much of a lock. Here, Here's why I'm not fully with it yet. Last year, they started one in five. Okay. Or I'm sorry, one in four through week five. Okay. They were one in fucking four. Oh, and they still won 10 games. So old. Ah, terrible. The bottle that was here from fucking the weekend. It tastes like piss. All right. So if you, they started, they started one in four last year, go uh, through week five, and they still ended up winning pretty much ten games. So I'm not writing them off yet. In September with Frank Reich, they've notoriously been bad. I think he only has one winning record in uh, four years of coaching in September. Um, if we're at this point, let's say right now it's it's September 19th. If it's October 19th, and I'm we're still having this conversation, then yes, they're fucking dead. But until it's it, once the once September is over, if this is still the team that we see, they're fucking done. But I, I still think that they have a chance at the division. You know, you know what's even worse now is that since it wasn't a game the whole time, Taylor didn't even get any fucking any run. Taylor yeah, had no. five carries for five yards at halftime. Like that also, he should have five carries per drive. Bro, hundred percent. His value is going to plummet so much this year because such a bad team he's going to be on. They're going to be in the third quarter. They're going to be down all the time by a touchdown or two, and they're going to need to throw, and his value is going to... Can we talk about the fact that they are actually... uh... Here's the AFC South. Jaguars 1-1. They're in second place, I think. Colts 0-1-1 and Titans 0-1 about to go to 0-2 probably tonight. I mean, that's the worst division I've ever seen. There, it's it's awful, but at the same and time. Every, like... every time a team jumps the big plus money in that division, just take them. No matter what their name is, just fucking hit it. Uh, here's another crazy stat. You ready for this, guys? After two weeks, there's one, two, three, four teams in the entire NFL which have two wins. That's wild. That's wild, right? One of them's the Bucks, who should have lost yesterday. Another one's the fucking Giants, who should have lost week one by a mile. They were plus 10,000 at one point in that game. The Chiefs, 2-0, and all right. You know, they didn't play great, but that's fine. And the Dolphins, 2-0, and with a 29-point comeback. So you're talking about three of those four teams shouldn't even be 2-0. Dolphins have an impressive 2-0, and too. It'd be Harbaugh and Belichick. I mean, the teams aren't good. Others that don't have the big names. Let's move on to the Jets. Evan, I'm going to kick right to you on this one. Talk to me about the Jets. I mean, I don't know what kind of luck that was yesterday. Down by two scores with a minute 47 left. Joe and Flacco. Joe Flacco. <laughs> is is he elite? Is he not elite? I don't know. I don't know what is happening. Garrett Wilson looked fucking incredible. You just say what I think you just said. Joe Flacco is elite. He's like 55 years old. I think we should start him all year over oh, Zach Wilson. Oh, my God. Because he up. is the fucking truth. See, tell me this is satire. It is. It is absolutely satire. Joe Flacco yeah, sucks. God. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was watching Tommy in the window, just All holding right. his face. <laughs> I'm listening. The funny thing is, he, sports talk radio up here. Aaron K. Dolan's so hot. 
Uh, Sports Talk Radio up here actually is saying shit like this. No, th- this is okay. They this are. is the equivalent to Mike White throwing for 450 yards and three touchdowns last year against the Bengals. This is never happening again. Joe Flacco oh. got incredibly lucky. It's it's just it's not a thing. It is just nothing more than a hurry up offense. That's it. Just get it and throw and throw and throw. I and mean, he's got fucking great stats on the end. No, no, he doesn't. He is, he is like thought... fourth overall in passing no, yards. What do you mean? By the way, the leading passers in the NFL right now are Tua. Flacco and Wentz. Okay. He's got practices. great stats. No, uh, listen, Bill. As 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 literally 16 yards, five I know his fucking stats. Six. As one of the fucking top DFS players in the entire fucking world. They did a fucking documentary about me and I was in the goddamn New York Post. I've studied stats for still with world. this. Still I was a Wall Street practice. guy before that. Okay, no, you're not, not going to tell me about stats. You bet at 410 in high school, Bill. I bet at 410 in high school. No, he sounds like, he sounds like, sounds like Al best. Bundy. Listen. Sounds like Al Bundy. Oh, All right. Four touchdowns to in one about, game. Four touchdowns in one game. When you started talking to me, I had a Polk High shirt, too. But you know what? You, hold on. Let's can, can, I, can I get my statement out? No, the DFS thing that you want was great and everything when you were the champ, right? That was like... NBA circa 1955. This is <laughs> NBA 2022 where you would be not good. <laughs> so uh, let me just reiterate here. My point of saying all that was that Bill knows nothing about stats and I know everything about stats. His stats are what we so, call. I mean, come on. You got to so stats. You can't shut up. But before, stats go before, right with before, before I couldn't talk. And I was sitting out and Sean wanted me to talk more. Now I gotta shut up. <laughs> well, now you just cut me off. Listen. Well, his you stats said his are... stats aren't good. How? Yeah. Oh my god. Bill. How? Bill. How is his stats not good? I'm trying to tell you. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay. He has fucking 130 passing yards with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. He fucking had a fucking fluke 50 yard drive and another fluke 60 yard drive, and they were padded. By the defense, prevent hurry up at the end of the game. The first game, the Jets scored fucking four, three points. He was all garbage time at the end of the game. He sucks. But once they get down 14, he's pretty good when they soften up. He sucks. And that's why the stats are a lie. It's the same thing we said about Matt Ryan last week. Matt Ryan had 300 something yards because it was all in the end of the fourth quarter down 17. When the game is close, he sucks. Stats don't always tell the fucking story. There's Bl- Blaine Gabbert used to be a DFS darling because the Jags would be down by 100 and he'd score 20 in garbage time. They're empty stats, dude. He sucks. Dude, he He's brought there. his team back yesterday, threw for th- over 300 yards, which every yard was important. He had a good he series or two. He didn't he have had any good. prevent. There was no prevent defense yesterday. Everyone was wide open. Oh, Gary, oh, Gary yeah. Wilson was wide well, open. Right. Bro, Cleveland was trying to win the game. Black I know, but Gary Wilson was playing to flag football. To the game. He was winning the game for him. The guy had 300 yards, four touchdowns. That's fucking great on any fucking team. <laughs> Actually, at one point through the third quarter, through most of the third quarter, that was the highest scoring game on the slate. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, yeah. nobody was playing oh, no, defense. Those aren't good. Those are those no. Are it wasn't. Stats. It was all at the end. No, when they're I'm, not good. They're not good stats. Listen, what I'm telling you is, right, me and give Evan me a quarterback who has good stats this me week. And, me and me and Evan were telling Carson Wentz is real stats. Uh, me and me and Evan were what? telling you in the there were they're real stats at least. Tua's are a little hollow, and Flacco's are very hollow. At least Wentz's are real stats. Why is because Flacco they took place the whole game? They didn't just happen in one fucking throw or one fucking minute. Fucking all two of stats came in one quarter. All fucking, he sucked for three of them. You're down 35-14. You can't win like that. They got fucking lucky. Lamar shit his pants. And I'm not talking up. about Tua. We're talking about Flacco. Well, it's the same thing with Flacco. Flacco didn't win the game. Cleveland lost it. Like, he did his job. He, oh did, he had a good God. drive or two, but he sucked for the other seven quarters oh of the season. God. Oh, my so, God. Well, uh, I can't wait. We're making oh a better. My, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Jets play the Bengals this week, right? <laughs> Everyone's been picking on the Bengals. How many yards do you think Flacco will have by the end of the third quarter versus well, the Bengals? Wilson, Zach Wilson might play this week. Uh, I mean, how do you bench the God? I mean, there's no way they're playing Zach Wilson this week. But the point here, Bill, is that the Jets actually have weapons. The Jets actually have a decent oh, – enough about the Jets. Let's keep moving. Lions, Washington. Amron, Amron, Ross St. Brown, Sun God, fucking Tommy G call of the year. I'm the best. 
Yeah. Uh, going back to last year, I think it's uh, in eight, nine straight games with eight plus catches. Ten, yeah. ten, ten straight games. Hey, listen, if it's anyone a monster, to, bro. If anyone read the DFS Week One article, sixty one hundred for Amon Ross St. Brown was the dumbest price, and he's a top five DFS player. Week Two article, hundred percent owned, top five DFS player in the league. I think we Phil talked Ruff. about him on the round table for a good ten minutes. I will talk about him for hours. That's my boy. That's my baby. And honestly, double maxed him both weeks. Bill, Lions, Washington. What do you think? Uh, it was a good game. Um, I I love St. Brown. I'm going to tell you again, and I'm not 100% positive, so don't go nuts. But I think last year I bet St. Brown first before you did. Ooh. Listen, I don't know. I, I've always wanted to go back you and double check. You know it was. I wanted to go back and double check. And listen, if I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. But right. I think I bet him before you. I will get you clarification on that for the next show. Wow. I mean, this guy's a fucking idiot. Um, and let's go. So that was a great game. Washington's for real. I said on this the roundtable show, Rackets, the DFS show we do every Friday night, I said Curtis Samuel is going to outproduce McLaurin. We got in a little debate about it. Curtis Samuel blew the doors off McLaurin. Uh, McLaurin's not that guy right now. Trade him. You got too many options over there with Jahan, Gibson, McLaurin. You got Brian Robinson coming back and Samuel. Too many options. McLaurin was a waste of a draft pick. Panthers, Giants, we're not talking about this. The old teams suck, right? I agree. Both suck. Right. They both suck. They're both Trash. terrible. Um, people who drafted DJ Moore as the number one wide receiver, stop it. And no, Ghost, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about every league I was in, there was one team that DJ Moore ended up being number one. Nothing. Baker sucks. Pat Steelers, both teams suck. We talking about this game? Uh, I mean, does anyone have anything on it? People were, yeah. people were chanting for Kenny Pickett uh, while Mitch was ah. in the game. He'll be in. I just, I mean, I, I think that's the right move. I said they should have done it with Wilson and stuff. You got to give the guy, you got to give a back a uh, rookie four to six games. Let it, let him get acclimated, take the pressure off. I, I, I don't think he should be in there yet, but he will be. He'll definitely be in there soon. Trubisky sucks. Rams Falcons uh, NFL is the WWE. Basically. That's what it's become. It's all theater. It's all scripted. It's all fucking fake. Nothing's real balls. Fucking move like this on field goals. And then move like this on other field goals. Refs fucking cheating. Uh, that was the WWE performance. Like, let's make every game that's blowout come back at the end, like for the last two weeks. So uh, what do you think of your Falcons there, Bill, uh, making that game of that? I mean, in two two good games they played. You know, they're not great this year. Um, rebuilding year. Um, once we get the, you know, get a new quarterback in there. Mariota just, I don't know, he just couldn't handle certain situations, you know, where he looked a little lost. Um, but, yeah, the, the, uh, I told everybody – um, on Friday to hammer um, some cer certain plays and everything else. And look what happened, Tommy. Me and Night Ghost got in a little argument. And who prevails again? Bill Ghost said he wanted to tear you apart. Yeah. I mean, Remember I was, when he popped in? He mm -hmm. left. He left. He didn't, you didn't when get he your popped into the chat. You didn't get your comeuppance on Cup after he went batshit after that. Remember when he popped but, uh, in? By the way, Sea Ghost, just so you know. Uh, in the chat, he said the site was down. That is true. Our site did crash. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Sunday morning for about an hour and a half. Um, he said that's why he couldn't get my DFS article. Unfortunately for you, I posted it Friday night. So it was actually up for a day and a half. All day mm -hmm. Saturday and Friday and Sunday morning. Uh, and you should watch the roundtable show. Uh, let's go to yeah. the next game. Any, anything else here? Yeah. Uh, like the fucking video. Like the fucking video, said Evan. 92 like likes, you scoundrels. There's 246 Jerk people in here. Jerk offs um let's see rams falcons cross that off honestly alan robinson nice little bounce back i expected that I expect him to get better every week and the falcons are decent i have their over four and a half wins i don't know if they'll get it but there's a good little team there when desmond Keep ritter playing cup guys yeah when desmond ritter gets in i mean they're gonna be good and bill said it last so bill said it week one max bet put the house on cup is seven and a half last week i rode him with it i fucking double maxed it myself cup over seven and a half it's a retarded number it's fucking stupid you can't make cup seven and a half catches. It's stupid every week. Um, Pat Steelers done with that. Baltimore Cincy. I'll let you guys go first since I'm so biased. Are my Bengals and Joe Burrow, my 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 savior, my lord, um, are they done? 13 sacks in two games. It's hit too much. I mean, they he just looks, spent dude, 75 looks... million on the line. <laughs> well, I just I I wish I took the sacks just total. I am didn't both to get two, but he got Sacked like six times or something. He's fucking he sacked thirteen times in two games. Most that, like NFL history. That NFL. line is so bad. He's going to get injured again. Uh, you can't have your future getting. 
killed like that back there. Doesn't make sense. They spent $75 million and added three high-end linemen. Well, something's wrong. Maybe it's him. Maybe it's chemistry at the line. I don't, dude, I don't get it, Rackets. I mean, I thought that was going to be the the thing that was going to be gone. Me and you talked about it. You mentioned yep. it yesterday. In the Discord, the slow start for Cincy, right? Yep. Uh, I mean, they always start slow in the first half. In the first half, this is going back to last year, but – Burrow can't stand back there and throw the ball down the sideline to chase if he's getting crushed after a second and a half. So it's going to bring back into the immediate throw, the intermediate throws, and that's why you saw a lot of T. Higgins in the second half of that game last night. Like he just couldn't hold on to the fucking ball. Chase has got to stop disappearing, man. They got to throw the ball to fucking Chase. Like Jamar Chase disappeared. They need some screen passes too to, to I mean, kind of alleviate some of that pressure. Would, they don't do that enough. I mean, dude, every time he touches the ball, he's electric, and they just keep going to Higgins and Hurst, and that's all great. But they're not going to. You need explosion with that offense if you don't have a line. You need that 40-yard play. And Chase is the only one who can get it to you, and they just disappeared. Well, you guys, like Bracket said, you got to start throwing to your backs. Yeah, you got. they got to do – They got to let that defensive team know that this is an option for us. So you charge Burrow, you're ready to sap, but he's going to dump it off to yep. mix it for a fucking 20-yard gain. And that's yep. just not happening. Denver Broncos, Houston Texans. Uh, by the way, I don't think Cincinnati's watched. I think they're fine. Uh, I think you're going to see they'll they'll be completely fine. They just got to get that line to match. Denver Broncos, Houston Texans. Is Russell Wilson washed? Night Ghost came out before the season and said Russell Wilson was washed. I called him an idiot. I still think he's an idiot. Now I just think all of you are idiots. It seemed like Rackets and others were coming onto his side. Um, Russell- I'm, 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 I'm migrating over there, man. Ooh, shit. I have to go get my kid in a minute. Um, fucking Jesus Christ. Alarms everywhere. Um, <laughs> can't forget about them. Um, dude, just watching them, like maybe it's a chemistry thing and maybe it's just, they need more time. He needs more time with the receivers, but he doesn't look, and even the touchdown pass, he threw down the scene to the tight end. That was a fucking, that was a dead duck from Peyton Manning's last year in the league. Like it, it looked, he did not look good. So I'm, I'm, I'm migrating over to that side. I'm not there yet, but I wasn't fired up about this Broncos team all season to begin with, and now it's just kind of reaffirming my position. Like, I don't think they're that they're very good. All right, Bill. Um, that was probably the game that I wanted to watch least. Yeah. Yesterday, um, really had no interest. It was in boring, it. dude. It was a boring Got game. Sutton on our fantasy team. Um, really nobody else. Boring game. Um, I don't know. Really got no take out of it. Uh, yeah, is he right. washed? Is he? Well, I don't think so. I think he's got a good season ahead of him. Got to get used to the team, the players, everything else. Let's I'm see. not worried about it. And in like two or three weeks, see where he's at. Yeah, I'm not worried about a new guy on a new team. Never played with these people before. Never played together in the preseason. You got to give them two or three weeks to get their shit together. Denver's going to be fine. Denver's going to be great. Uh, real quick, buzz through these because I want to get a better two from your rackets. How much time you got? Uh, about five minutes. All right. Uh, Arizona, Las Vegas. Kyler Murray fucking sucks. He's a fucking bag of shit. You want to talk about empty stats here, Bill? He's your quarterback. Did nothing until the fucking end of that game. No, 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 no. Bag of shit. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, got me. 23 to 7. He got me 27.88 fantasy points in the, in the league. <laughs> and after tonight, when uh, my Stefan Diggs goes and just scorches earth, I will overtake Night Ghost by that measly five point lead he has on me. And I will go two and oh in the four deep Bill no, Rob seasonal champ. Season long fantasy league. I mean, I just skull fucked Earth this week with the greatest lineup. How'd your team it. do, Evan? Not not good. Not talking about it? Not 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 good. I mean, Tommy G's at one sixty six playing con man twenty two, con man twenty two. Straight skull fucked Constantino in two leagues. Skull fucked him. Uh, that's probably why he's not here. And uh, I mean, his team's just unbelievable. How do you have a wide receiving corps? Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, Allen Robinson, Amon Ross, St. Brown, and Curtis Samuel. How do I get all that? How do I get all that? I mean, just looking at like I don't know. Goat's team is. <laughs> it's a bad team. I don't want to waste too much time. They're really, really bad teams. Uh, <laughs> he somehow beat me last week. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Rackets, yours is one of them. Uh, Shot right. it. Uh, <laughs> I got all so my bills going I'm not, I'm not going to get overly concerned with the Raiders, though. Uh, tough loss this week. You got to win that game, but 0 2 start. And then we don't need to talk about Green Bay and Chicago. Aaron Rodgers did what Aaron Rodgers does. Came out, stomped the Bears. That's what he does. Uh, Justin Fields is fucking complete dog shit. Uh, people call me racist for that comment, but when I first said it, now they believe it. 
Uh, field 15 completions in two weeks, Bill. 15 completions in two weeks. Yeah, he's not good at football. Dude, I had 15 completions on the last drive, and he sucks. <laughs> like, how do you have 15 completions in two weeks where he was trailing by 10 in both those weeks in phenomenal game flow to pass? I mean, I mean, just fucking take the guy off the field and put someone who's not garbage in his place. Rackets. He's got no weapons either. I mean, listen, everyone said that when he had Allen Robinson. Dude, he doesn't – you don't need weapons. He's terrible. <laughs> it's not about weapons. He's terrible. Uh, he had Allen Robinson and Mooney at the same time. That's plenty of weapons. Um, so – Rackets, before you get out of here, give me a couple bets for tonight, and then me and Bill will break down each game individually here. We got the Titans and the Bills, and we got the uh, Eagles and the Vikings. What are we liking? Uh, in the Bills game, my two touchdown guys going to be Dawson Knox, plus 1,000. Um, he didn't really get too much run last week. I think he only had one catch for five yards. Uh, I think Josh Allen makes makes right on that tonight. Despite, I don't think it's going to be uh, too high scoring of a game either. I see 47 and a half on the total. I think it actually stays right around there. Might even might even stay under that. I don't mm-hmm. see too much scoring tonight. There was a monsoon this morning. Everything's fucking soaking wet. So um, I think it's actually supposed to rain later too. So we'll see if the, the weather is still shitty. All right. And uh, anything in the other game? Vikings, Eagles? I want to bet the Vikings so bad at plus 125. Um, it's just Kirk in primetime, man. I don't. Yeah. I'm not, I'm usually not a trends guy. I don't believe in that kind of shit, but like there seems to be something with this one, but um I probably end up betting the Vikings and I like the <clears> over <throat> in this game 49 over 49 and a half. All right, any official plays on either of these two outside of the Dawson Knox? Mm, I'll do the Vikings plus 125. I'll make that official. I do like that. All right. I like that too. I'm a little worried about it though because it's the fucking uh It's Kirk, fact. man. Uh, it's 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 Kirk Cousins on prime time which I'm not as worried about with the new scheme and everything. I'm just really down on the Eagles and high on the Vikings. So, I mean, I'm going to fall into this trap. I feel like it's bait. I, I like Delvin Cook a lot tonight, too. Yeah, I, I, I could see Cook going off. I feel like this is bait. I don't know. I'm worried about it. All right, Rackets, get out of here. Go get your kid. Yeah, I got to go get my kid. I'll see you guys. Uh, Rep and Rackets, 530. We'll talk about the game more. All right, 530 p.m. for Deep Pets Discord. Uh, go get that kid before someone in a free candy van drives by. Fucking, uh, yeah, I got to save him before Aber gets him. Yes. <laughs> See ya. Bill Rupp, what do we think? Let's do the Buffalo Titans game first. Buffalo Bills, Tennessee Titans, uh, minus 450 on the money line, minus 10 on the spread, 47 and a half total in Buffalo. Uh, what are we looking at in this game? What are you thinking? I mean, I said the, before the season, the fucking win total, 10 and a half or 11 and a half on Buffalo was a joke. They're not losing six games. They're probably not losing tonight. Uh, what are we thinking? Uh, well, if you were a 4D member, you had uh, the Packers, Dodgers, and Bills parlay, which ends tonight with the Bills. Money line. Um, plus 131. And uh, we will be cashing that because the Bills will be winning that. Okay. Uh, I do believe, I like what Rackett said, I think that Knox gets involved a lot tonight. He kind of didn't. You know, it's like these guys, the receivers and everybody else, you know, they are kids. And when you don't get them involved in the offense a couple weeks in a row, you know, they're like, and then they start not to care. You know, they're like, oh, he's not throwing to me anyway. Let me not do this. Let me not do that. And uh, you got to spread it around. And I think Knox will get his catches today, at least the targets, at least to end, uh, end up in the end zone. Um, I like him a lot tonight. All right. So official play on this. What are you, what are you looking at here? I like Knox to score. Okay, Knox touchdown. Do you like his yards or just doing a touchdown? No, just to score. I think uh, – Keep in mind, if you do Knox to score, you got to do him to score first because that's how we discovered him on those first touchdowns. I think half his touchdowns were the first touchdown in the game. So you got to throw the plus 1,100 out there too uh, for at least a little sprinkle, a little, little dabble, do you? Uh, very small play, not for a full unit on that one. Um, I, I like this game in a couple ways, but I'm not exactly sure uh, every path that I'm going to take here on this one because – my heart is telling me that Josh Allen just comes out and stomps the shit out of him. This line staying there and holding. Uh, Rackett said it yesterday. There's a little Tennessee money coming in, uh, which I was a little surprised about seeing that. Uh, I think Stefan Diggs in the box at plus money. It's phenomenal. Stefan Diggs to score a touchdown plus 100. And also the receiving props here are one place I'm going to be looking pretty heavily. They keep setting Stefan Diggs very low on the receptions. He's six and a half plus 108. I don't know if anyone could look around in the chat. Let me know if you see a five and a half out there because we just raped a five and a half uh, in week one. It was a joke. You had it by halftime. But I'm taking the six and a half too. 
Stefan Diggs is the target. I know Gabe Davis has emerged. I like his props. Dawson Knox is great. They have a lot of weapons over there in Buffalo. But uh, Steph Diggs is that dude. So Steph Diggs over six and a half catches plus 108. Let me get that. And I really want to slam a five and a half if you could see that. I like his yards too. Plus 110. Yeah. I, li- I like uh, – there's four other plays I really like in this. Keep in mind, yesterday, again, for the second week in a row, we hit another plus 1,000. Uh, Amron St. Brown, uh, 80 and a touchdown, and Cooper Cup, 100 and a touchdown. That hit for a plus 1,200, which was great. Really made the day because we had a couple bad beats before that. Um, I got two of those tonight, maybe even three, that I love. You got to sign up for those. I'm not giving you the plus 2,000s over here. So uh, get over to 4deepbets.com. Uh, check it out. Go sign up. You'll get all the good fucking plays. I got some major prop parlays for tonight. But Diggs is my guy. Diggs is where I'm going on the Tennessee side of the ball. Not anything that interesting, Bill. I mean, I kind of like the under on the rush attempts for Henry. I think it was 21 and a half when I saw it yesterday. Seems a little high if they're getting blown out. Seems like a pretty safe bet. He's never gotten 22 carries against Buffalo uh, in his career. I think all four games he ended up, uh, let me see, 20, 19, 20, and 11. So, and that was a, this is a better Buffalo team and a worse Tennessee team. I think that under 20, put that out there, under 21 and a half, Evan, uh, rush attempts for Henry. What do you think, Bill? Uh, under, I hate betting unders. You're always sweating it so yeah. hard. Like first under. half under, anything under, it's so, it's so tough. Like even in Georgia, when we had under 14 and yeah. a half for the other team, you're just sweating it right it's from it. to the end, yeah. You're like, when they get down to like the 40 or whatever, they cross midfield, you're like, oh, fuck already. And then, you know. How uh, great is it though when they get hurt? That's where the unders are fantastic. Fucking done. Like if you had the Trey uh, Lance under yesterday. Yeah, but who's fucking lucky enough to get that? Not me. He'll uh he'll hit twenty two either. First half. Yeah. So uh let's move on to the next game here. I think Buffalo Robson tonight. I uh, think I like Josh Allen's rushing also. I gotta look more into it, but it's a possibility. All right. Well know that when you sign up. Five thirty PM in the Discord, rough and racket show, run until six, six thirty, little pregame show, and then right into the seven o'clock Bills game. For deepbets.com, $37 for seven days. If you're not willing to pay $37 today to hang out with me and Bill for the next fucking seven days, you go fuck yourself. Uh, Minnesota and the Philadelphia Eagles. Vikings plus two and a half against the Birds. This line has not moved. It's a little worrisome there. A lot of people like the Eagles. I'm on the fucking uh, other side of this. I like the Vikings. I don't know if I'm going to bet the game straight, Bill. I just got a weird faction-y feeling about this game i just don't i don't like it i don't know why i want to bet minnesota something is telling me don't do it don't do it just bet the props but last well, uh, time they were in prime time i think we were at the bar last okay. year remember and they were up by they were up by a lot and then that weird guy who came in was like oh, oh remember that <laughs> this. We go back to that same bar tonight yeah and then they scored like fucking four touchdowns in a row yeah, was dude like was like fucking from the sky. We didn't even know he was there. He just sits next to it. He's like, oh, don't be surprised if they get back in this game. And we're like, what are you fucking retarded? I four four four. And he walked out. Remember, Billy walked out. He's yeah. like, he gave us that, like, told you. We were like, who the fuck was crazy? Wrong? So was nuts. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we, uh, prime time, like Racket said, made a decision. He always fumbled. I mean, he always, he always uh, shits to bed. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I made a decision. I made a decision. 74% of the money is on the Eagles in this one. Um, that's all I need to see. I actually thought it was the other way around. What I would do what? is if the Vikings go up early, I may bet the Eagles. Oh, I think you should do – I think you can get plus money on both sides of this game, yeah. I think it's a great game to look for plus money on both sides. If either of these teams go up by 10, I think so. I just think Jalen Hurts is a bag of shit, and I really think this Minnesota team is about to take a big step forward. Um, I, lo- I like this. I mean, listen – the 74% of the money, it's the second highest amount of money that was on any team this weekend. First of all, 81% of the bets was on the Bengals this week. We saw what happened there. But um, the Packers were actually the highest, and they gave us the primetime easy money game last night. They ain't giving us another one tonight. So uh, I'm going to be on the Vikings. Give me the Vikings. Uh, eight. I don't even want the three points. Give me the money line, too. I'm going to do plus 130 there with the Vikings. Um, total on this game, I think it goes over. I think most people think it goes over. But there are some props I'm interested, Bill, here. What do you like on the prop side? Um, of, hmm. of course, uh, we like your boy. Um, you know, Jefferson. Jefferson, he's a beast, right? So you got to have him in everything. Um, 
I'm really like underwhelmed so far about Dalvin Cook. I don't know. What do you think about him? I think he's in a good spot here. Um, this should be a pretty decent matchup for him. I think Dalvin Cook gets heavily involved. I mean, I could see this game. I actually like it for a one touchdown um, in each half. I think you can get the two touchdowns. And two touchdowns in each half. Um, I will definitely be doing all of those. Well, give him that, uh, Evan, so, give him that Evan so you can put him on the sheet. Don't I you? think you could get those. Um, I think that could happen easily tonight. You know, One touchdown each team each half should be should be golden. What do you think it is? What do you think it is before I find I think it? it's minus 180. Wow, that much? Yeah. Um, Let's see. Here we go. Scoring. Both teams, one touchdown. Plus 114. Tommy Get G. Get out of here. 114. One touchdown. Both teams, each half. Wow. Uh, what's one touchdown each quarter? Uh, That's underneath the other thing. Two I touchdowns. Each team, each half. Yeah. It's plus 1340. Yeah, no. What's the one touchdown each quarter? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to here. Each team scores one touchdown on one field goal. No. One touchdown be scored in each quarter plus 145. I want that. One touchdown each quarter, Evan. Go so ahead. one touch. Not each team, just one touchdown to happen in each quarter. Uh, that's plus one. What is it, Bill? Plus 145. Okay, I like that bet a lot. We love these bets. These are the bets that we bet on the usually on the primetime games. Um, yes, maybe, uh, just making sure, Evan, we got it right. Uh, yeah, one touchdown driving. each team each half. One, um, plus one fourteen. You have two touchdowns each team each half plus thirteen forty. Okay, I'm going to give you a, a little parlay here. So I'm going to give you one of the uh, just because you guys are you guys seem to be behaving a little bit. I'm going to give you one plus one thousand parlay. And here it is. Are you ready for it, Evan? I'm ready. Plus 900. So, uh, Justin Jefferson, 100 yards. A.J. Brown, 100 yards. Wow. And Justin Jefferson, touchdown, plus 884. That's not even one of the three that I have that I love the most. That's just one for here. Uh, I'm going to take the over on... Uh, both digs receiving, as I said earlier, and I'm going to take the over on AJ Brown too. The 74 and a half is too low. Um, I also do like you said, Bill. I do like the rushing props for Dalvin Cook. I have to make a final decision, but uh, I think it was Swift last week, right? Who did the Eagles play last week? I think Swift went like for a buck fifty on them, on like 17 carries. Um, I mean, yeah, last week 28 carries, 181 yards for the team, 15 for 144, three rushing touchdowns for the Lions last week against the Eagles. We know the Eagles' strength is usually their corners, so they do uh, do lock you up on the outsides usually. But, I mean, that run defense looked pathetic last week, Bill. I think Dalvin Cook in the box and some Dalvin Cook props is nice. Um, I, I think Hurts has a great opportunity tonight to get two touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns. Mm -hmm. um, seems like... They go to him a lot, right? Inside oh, yeah. that five-yard yeah. line. He just the takes reason. over. You have a disaster when you draft fantasy running backs from the Eagles because you have fucking Gainwell, you have Boston Scott, you got Miles Sanders, and you got fucking Jalen Hurts vulturing all the touchdowns. So, Tommy, he, had, he, had hour, seven, he had 17 attempts for 90 yards. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he's a terrible quarterback. He's a horrible quarterback. All he could do is run, but A.J. Brown's the perfect fit for him because he has such a wide catch radius that it's great for him. But Jalen Hurts is horrific at quarterback. So bad quarterbacks, what they do, like in college, bad quarterbacks run and look at one guy. So Jalen Hurts is – that's why when everyone's like, oh, I think I like Goddard this year. I think Zach Paschal might step up. I th no, no, guys, no. Devontae Smith, no, no. Here's what bad quarterbacks do. Set who can run fast. Set, hut. A.J. Brown, A.J. Brown, nope, gone. That's it. There is no Devontae Goddard. It's no, and I think Devontae Smith, he gets – you throw it up to him. He he, he makes a lot didn't, of it. People didn't realize it last year because there was no A.J. Brown. There was just a bunch of good receivers that were young. Now you have one superstar. Jalen Hurts is just going to look at him and look at him only, and if he's not there, he's going to tuck in and run. So I do like A.J. Brown. I think his prop is significantly low, over 74 and a half. 
I love that. And I think he gets 100 yards, as I mentioned. And uh, I have a couple other fun ways to bet some of this stuff too. But that is enough free bets for you freeloaders. Sign up at 4deepbets.com and we will be betting going live with the show, giving you live bets the whole nine. Um, let's do a quick, quick little MLB breakdown here, Bill. Uh, any games you like today? Baseball? Yeah. Um, oh, shit. Off the – now my whole thing. I mean, right? I'm looking. I mean, you got the fucking – I don't really like the slate, right? You got fucking Dodgers. Well, Monday night – well, Monday now in NFL, I mean, MLB is always not great since football is back. Um, but anyway, look at – I forgot I didn't say it. I'm looking at Jalen Hurts for two touchdowns. Um, definitely I'm going to have him in a parlay yeah. for a while. You said that. Look at that, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, off the first glance, I like the Marlins. Give me the Marlins minus one thirty-eight. I like the way the Marlins have been playing late in the year. Uh, I, would, home. I would say the Mets Scherzer's back tonight, uh, but the Brewers have been playing. Mm, and Burns, Burns on the other side. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna stay away from that. Here's um, my here's my easy. Just I mean, the this. Dodgers are just completely on fire. But they're, they are right. minus Dodgers, 300, so I Dodgers, won't. Dodgers Braves, Bill. Dodgers Braves. Yeah, 300, though, Tommy. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, fuck baseball. We'll just bet football tonight. I'm just betting the Barlets. I mean, I might, have, I might have a team added in on my football parlay, too, just to make it, you know, thing. But I have to look more into it. I don't even care about baseball right now until tomorrow. Tomorrow we will care about baseball. Uh, anything else here, E, we got to get to before we get out of here? Not a thing. Not a thing. How yeah, we do, all right? We're doing great. Seven hundred twenty-one people here today. That is absurd. Seven hundred twenty-one people. Yeah, they're not everyone. That's why I get mad about the likes, Tui, because when people see the two sixty to two ninety, that's just at one time. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that left and came back. So there was seven hundred twenty-one people in here, and only one hundred thirteen of you clicked the goddamn like button. Me and Bill Rupp fucking slaving over here, hung over after a long weekend, dying, dragging ourselves up to the show. Propping ourselves there. But going through every game, fucking 20 bets. And, Bill, they don't want to hit the fucking beep boop. Listen, I'm just going to have to, you know, I'll take a gummy. I mean, you know what? I'm about to take a fucking gummy, too. And uh, even more important than hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, please. That's a great button to hit. Try that button. That button's awesome. You got to see what happens. The first time, Evan, I hit the subscribe button, it was, wait till you see. They have a new feature on YouTube. Hit the button and watch what happens. Your phone just starts like sparkles fall out of it and shit. It's amazing. Try it. Give it a shot. Yeah, just don't ever unclick it. You don't want to see what happens. It's like it's like it's like um, what's it? Uh, TikTok. Yeah. Like yeah, if you if you think this is in, just double click on. Just double click the screen if you like. Yeah, just click the screen. Just click screen. Yeah, just click the like. Just like and subscribe. You're gonna fucking love it. It's amazing shit that happens. Uh, All right, that's it. Uh, Mike wasn't able to join us today. He's actually at the doctor's. Uh, we do have Dana White Contender Series tomorrow. So in the Discord, for those of you that are subbed up, we will be dropping Mike's uh, D- 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 DWCS, Dana White Contender Series, uh, plays for tomorrow. But, uh, Bill Rupp, let me get some final words here before we go fucking rape the universe and bets tonight. Uh, Rupp and Rackets, 530 in the Discord. Me and you are doing another show? I mean, do we stop working? No. Evan just gets to go home and stay home and go to sleep now. Prepping all morning, 12 p.m. to 1 a.m. Doing shows back here again. Fuck another show at 5:30. Then the live sweat show tonight. Bill, how's the dog doing, Evan? Doing doing well. He's right here right now. He's uh, scared of the thunder that's happening right now. Yeah, that's what Jenna's doing. She's sleeping on her bed. She's scared of the rain. Uh, is it even raining? Yeah, it just was. It is here. See that? That's why you black out your whole uh, apartment for the shows. Uh, all right, Bill. Final words. Up again? Again? I mean, I feel like you deserve to. Up in Rackets 530 Discord. And then you're like, all right. Oh, we're, gonna do, we're doing more shows? And then like, how's no, your talk? No, we did that already, huh? All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Bill, any final words? No, Evan, no, final no. words. Uh, see you Thursday. Going to be a great time tonight. Yeah. See you next Thursday, cunts. Uh, make sure you guys realize we have switched the schedule. Monday, Thursday, Friday. That's Thursday. a filthy word, dude. Cunt. You just had to ruin the whole show with that You're fucking a word. Like when I think of you, I think. Oh my god, it's the worst word in the world. 
I mean, we might get banned from YouTube for saying it. We got to shut up. I oh, see it's Evan. so dirty. Evan, like, Evan, when Evan's neck starts to disappear, that's when I know I got to stop talking. It's when such he a dirty talking. fucking word, bro. Eh, when well, you're a dirty human. For Bill Rupp, the cunt of the universe, Joey Rackett. Oh, wow, stop it. And Evan Hand, I am Tommy G. Good luck. Stay cunting, motherfuckers. Let's go! Cunt! <laughs>